bringing you a new type of video for me so I wanted to figure out you know something that I feel like the existing subscribers that I have would you know really enjoy and I wanted to find new ways of you know coming up with you know being able to get new subscribers um, so and then I was on Pinterest and I was looking at a couple different things and I'm like girl you got all this stuff on your boards but you know I've tried a couple things um, you know I've tried a a couple things but not even half of the stuff that I have pinned so I figured what better way than to bring it to you guys so this is going to be a try it Tuesday thing so each Tuesday I'm going to do my best to be faithful with this and bring you a new video and it's going to be try it Tuesdays so on Tuesdays I'll bring to you just products uh, or just stuff that you wouldn't normally think of kind of like hacks type things um, and just I'm just gonna try it so I'm trying not to do like a makeup product that's for a specific use like a new foundation or anything like that and I, I don't want to do like anything like that because I think that that would be like a normal video so that's really not gonna be like a try it Tuesday but um, there's a hair mask that I tried um, a couple days ago um, using you know just grocery stuff so I'm going to come up with stuff like that, um, things that I pinned on my boards. So if you are on Pinterest, 7 Beauty Inside Out is my name on Pinterest. Definitely you can follow me. Um, I'll try to follow you back. And if you can send me, you know, a pin, if you like, hey, you know, girl, try this. Or if you can comment below on any of the videos and like, you know, hey, you know, I've tried this. Why don't you try it? It really works. Uh, I would love to, you know, kind of do something like that. And I think it'd be pretty cool, kind of network like. Um, so that's what this is going to be about. So I was looking at um, Nika Tutorials and she had a video where she used this as a primer. So this is the Nivea um, Post Balm Shave. I keep saying Post Balm Shave. No, this is like my third time doing this video. So yes, you would think I have it together by now. But anyway, <laughs> this is a Sensitive Post Shave Balm. My name was on the back of it so you would think I'd have it together. But yeah, so I use this as my primer. Now, I have combination skin, so I have a really heavy oily T-zone and you know, my other areas are either normal or dry depending on the season. So I did use my Becca primer with this. Now, hold on, hold on, don't jump down my throat. I use the Becca on my forehead and my nose and and chin so that's I, if you've seen any of my tutorials where I'm using primer you know that's just what I do um, I have a really oily t-zone and I can't be looking like a grease monkey in the summer so that's what I did so I applied the Nivea first so I put a little bit on the hands and I've applied that you know all over my face first and then while it was still tacky um, I went directly to the forehead nose and chin and I've applied the Becca now this is the Becca ever matte pore refining primer now if you are a oily or combination oily skin person then this baby right here if you don't have something that you feel like is a holy grail or really awesome product I would definitely recommend trying this this is amazing um, it's ever matte poreless you know priming so it's definitely gonna help matte those oily areas but it's also gonna help with pores I've got some pores on my nose so I love using it for that I really really love that but anyway that's not about this video so I use this now I use the Bobbi Brown foundation stick because I've had this for a while and I've only used it like once so I was like hmm you know let me go ahead and use that and I didn't want to really use something heavier on my face because there's a lot of products you know be putting on my face and it's it's hot out here so I use the Bobbi Brown foundation stick and I just put that on my face in sections and then I use the NARS orgasm illuminator so if you're wondering where I'm getting this glow from that is it um, and I didn't want to spray the fix plus so I thought the NARS illuminator was gonna be perfect I just didn't know whether it was kind of like gonna mess up the balm or affect that in any way so I just you know use the illuminator instead um, I love it I, I definitely love the combination um, I'll insert a video over to the side here so you can see you know 
how I looked when I got off from work so I have that all day that is the picture or the video of me all day not blotting not matting you know my face or anything now of course I did blot my face um, I did apply some more setting powder um, because I worked out and then you know sweat but one thing I can say about this um, you know I was sweating pretty bad you know it's the dripping in my eyes and when I blotted with the paper towel a lot of product did not come off I mean it really wasn't much product at all so I'm really really loving this and I'm not sure whether it's a combination of the I really think it's because of the balm the balm is tacky and because it's so tacky it's like sucking your foundation in to in setting it it's like locking it in it's really really awesome and it's only five dollars and fifty cents at walmart so i absolutely love that and when i was watching a new tutorial she said that it has glycerin or something like that in it which is really good for acne or something like that i don't know yeah, I think a lot of acne um, face washes and medications and stuff like that have glycerin. So this is 100 milliliters for 550. This is 1.35. No, this is 40 milliliters. Sorry. Um, this is 40 milliliters, and this was 38. The Prep and Prom I want to say is 30 milliliters, and I forgot how much the Prep and Prom was. Um, this is the Too Faced. Now the Too Faced is, well it doesn't have milliliters on here, but anyway, it's um, one ounce. This is 3.3 ounces, and this was $25, I think. Anyway, I got it on one of the sales. It was like half off. Um, so, I think this is a really inexpensive product. Um, you know, I have oily combination skin. I've seen other videos out there. Um, your people have dry skin I really don't think it'll be an issue for any skin type it is for sensitive skin so this item right here is for sensitive I didn't see uh, any other products that were like regular or normal they all had sensitive on there so I'm not sure if it's just that Walmart or they only make it for sensitive but because it's like gel like you know it goes on it's really um, like a watery gel so that's the way it goes on and you feel like a little tackiness to it and I think it really 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 sticks in your makeup so I am really happy I'm very pleasantly surprised with this product now one thing I will tell you I did forget setting spray um, so for the last couple weeks I've always you know maybe it's just because you know I have been out of it and you know when I do sit down and get a beat face I'm generally rushing you know trying to get to work on time or wherever you know I'm headed so I don't know I haven't used setting spray in a minute but I didn't use any setting spray and I figured you know with my oily combination skin anyway you know something's gonna you know the the oil and it's gonna seep through but anyway I just feel like that's not even necessary with this product you know it's just you can still feel a little bit of tackiness I will say you know it does feel a little sticky throughout the day but if it's gonna keep my makeup on it's well worth it so if you have you know man around your house who has that product definitely borrow it from them uh, you know <laughs> get a little bit try it see how you like it it was only five dollars and fifty cents so you know if you've got it to spend definitely go and pick it up I really think you will be pleasantly surprised you know I just thought you know well what's all the hype what are these people talking about it's not that serious but honey I will be using that yes I will so anyway that is it for try it Tuesday um, if you have any other ideas for videos um, if there is anything that you have tried uh, you'd like me to try or anything that you've heard about and like you know have you tried that or would you try that for the video so I would definitely be interested in doing that and I will see you guys next time if you miss me in between videos you can always hit me up on Instagram Twitter I'm on Facebook and Tumblr yeah, I think I got it all. Got it all. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So thank you all so much for your love and support. I appreciate it. Um, and I will see you on the next video. Love you guys. Bye.